In Naleri residents, some Naleri residents want foreign-owned shops to be removed from their community after some children passed away, allegedly from consuming glucose biscuits. It's alleged that two children are in hospital receiving medical attention as well. Yesterday, police were called to the scene. Let's get more on this with our reporter, Balentle Mtetwa. Balentle, a very good afternoon to you. What's the latest from Naleri? Well, good afternoon, Nzinga. We are out standing outside one of the families that lost one of their children following that fatal incident that claimed the lives of two and left two fighting for their lives in a critical condition in hospital. Now, while what we left behind outside the said shop, we understand that the residents are there um, stationed outside the shop, protecting the shop in an effort to ensure that no one tampers with the evidence but we do know that the investigating officer was accompanied by health inspectors when they visited the shop today in order to t get samples of the goods sold in the shop and also to determine uh, if these goods are um, really good for consumption or fit for consumption. I'm joined by uh, someone who is here to speak on behalf of the two families who have refused to speak to the media. However, they have elected the ANC Youth League Ward 20 chairperson as the spokesperson to represent both the families. Now, thank you so much uh, to Ozani Shoba for taking the time to, to speak to us. Um, just briefly, how are the families coping with the news so far? It is a very sad um, it's really sad. Losing anyone is sad, and let alone losing a child, it has to be absolutely devastating. Yeah, thank you. Uh, greetings to the viewers. Uh, the Kometi and Zikali family, they are definitely uh, in, 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 in great sadness, and they, they just can't cope because of we can't even even have anyone from the family to speak for for the for for, for themselves you understand but uh <clears throat> one thing for sure we are we are we are we as the community want to protect the family not everybody should come and just make this thing a campaign uh, life are lost uh, we are we are protecting this family by all means one thing, uh, full information will be given at Naledi Wall. Naledi Wall today at 5 o'clock, it's a community meeting. It's not under any banner of or any political party or anything. It's a community meeting that will be held that is called by the councillor of the Ward 20. Uh, will be there, the investigating officer will be there telling us facts. Now we, ha we, ha we have uh, speculations that the kids ate biscuits and it's, it's, still, it's still all speculations. We, we don't have facts, we must wait for the postmortem and then the postmortem will tell us uh, the cause of uh, the death of these kids. And now talk to us about the kind of symptoms that the children um, complained about uh, before uh, losing their lives or even being rushed to the hospital. Yes, the, we, we, I, 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 was with, I saw only one kid, the one who, who couldn't stand, he didn't have any energy, he, he was vomiting, and then uh, the one passed on at, 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 the, at, their, at their house. And then the other one passed on at the Pegimlangen Hospital. Okay. Do, do you have their names? I mean. Yes. Uh, uh, Neo Hang, four years, four years old, and then Leu Jele, six years, six years of age. Yes. Okay. And then the other two, uh, Olwe Tuzikali, uh, six years, a girl, and then Katleo Hang, four years. Those ones are Katlao is the one. She's the one in, in ICU, and then always she's just admitted uh, at Parakwane Hospital. Okay. Yes. No, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, there you have it. Um, that is the family spokesperson just telling us about how the family is coping, coping um, following the news of the passing of their children. And as you've heard, the children suffered from, you know, um, um, vomiting uh, before being um, taken to hospital. Um, for now, it is back to you in studio.